In this video, I show you the best free Photoshop alternatives. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first free alternative I want to show you is called Photopea. Now, Photopea is a great tool and it's very similar to Photoshop, but do keep watching as I'm showing you a range of different tools. One of the best things about Photopea is you can actually go and use .psd files, which if you didn't know is a Photoshop file type, but you've also got some others as well. So come to the website photopea.com and go and tap on new project and you can go and choose the size and then you can go and choose the background then you can go and hit create and there we go we've now gone and got this background now if you've used Photoshop before you're definitely going to go and recognize like a lot of this layout as you can see on the left hand side you've got all these different tools and then on the right hand side you've got your layers and a few other useful tools as well. So yeah, it's really easy to use. Let's go and create a new layer, for example, um, and we could go and do some drawing with the pen tool. I could then go and draw just like so. It's that easy. Now let's go and get into the next alternative. The next alternative I want to show you is called pixlr.com. When you go and first arrive on the website, you're going to go and see these three different options, well, mainly two. You've got Pixel X and Pixel E. So if you're looking for quick and easy design, then use Pixel X. If you're looking for something more advanced, then go and use Pixel E. So I'm gonna go and check out Pixel E. So I'm gonna click Start a Photo um, Editing Project, just like so. And then by default, you'll be on the homepage, but you can go and check out Templates if you'd like as well. And as you can see, I've actually gone and used this myself. In latest projects, we can go and see some other pieces I've actually gone and made before. So in this case, I can go and press create new and we've got some recommended. Then you've got photo, social, web, print, video. There's a lot to choose from. So in this case, I'm gonna go and create a social post. So I'll tap here and then go and tap on create. And here we are. So once again, this is really similar to Photoshop. On the left hand side, you've got all of the tools and you've got, you know, file, edit, page, layer, select at the top. And on the right hand side, you've then gone and got your layers and your history as well. So let's go and get creating. So once again, go and create a new layer. We can go and press text, for example, and then we can go and type something in, for example, hello world, just like so. Then we can highlight it and go and change the font, something a bit more, uh, you know, adventurous. For example, this, and then we can go and resize it as well to go and make it a suitable size so everybody can see it. And that's literally it. Go and explore all the tools. It's a great one. The third Photoshop alternative I want to show you is called Canva, and the website is canva.com. Now, Canva is a really great tool. First you'll need to go and sign up or log into an account if you already have one. So I've now gone and signed in and it is important to know there is a pro version of Canva but in this case I'll just be using the free version and you can do, still do a lot with the free version of Canva. So here we are as you can see we've got a load of different templates this is just a for you section but you've got documents you've got whiteboards presentations social media so there's pretty much everything you may need. So let's go and check out a for example an Instagram story. So go and tap on it, it says create blank and then it's going to go and open up the tool and now we can really go and get designing. So as you can see, this is just blank, but we can go and start with these templates. For example, this one here, this is actually a video. Um, so this is sort of, you know, a bit different from Photoshop, but it's got more sort of features, I guess you could say with creating videos and things like that. So there we go. And then you can go and press edit image and then you can go and start, you know, editing uh, the filters, the mockups, the photogenic stuff. And yeah, there's so much, you've got elements as well. You've got more apps as well, text, projects, you know, everything here you can go and explore. The next free Photoshop alternative I want to show you is called GIMP. Now GIMP has been around for a while, but honestly, it's a great alternative. I'm gonna go and download it now and quickly show you what it looks like. But yeah, you can do so much within GIMP, just like the other tools. It's very similar to Photoshop and it's got all sort of the key features, which you probably want to use in Photoshop are also gonna be in GIMP. So go and check it out and go and explore it. Like I said before, it may come across as a little bit outdated, but it does have all the tools that you may need and it is completely free. The next alternative I want to show you is paint.net. Now paint.net is a really classic tool. And once again, it's quite an old software, but it has got everything that you will need. It's gonna have all the different tools. And what I do want to say is as well, if you get it from the Microsoft store, you'll need to pay. So come to the top of the website and go and press on download. And as you can see, we've got these two options here. If you go and download it from the website, it's free. If you go and download it from the Microsoft store, it's paid. So you can go and support them if you'd like. But I would recommend trying it out first. And if you like Paint.net, then of course you can go and support the developers in the future. But there we go, guys. I hope you did find this guide useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.